Hi everyone, this is Siraj from Rapid Leverage Forum and in this video I'm going to show you very quickly how to set up a typical Facebook ad campaign for your business or even for an affiliate uh, product or for your blog uh, or for a squeeze page or even actually for a fan page or a group that you run uh, within Facebook. This video was, uh, I'm creating this video because it's been requested inside the forum a couple of times recently. Um, so if you've got any other requests for videos, just pop a, a request in the forum in the right section and we'll create one for you. Okay, so here I am on the Facebook advertise page. You get to this page by going to facebook.com forward slash ads and there'll be a button saying create a new ad or something to that effect where you can then come to the screen. And essentially, it's a one long, one long page uh, where you can configure everything. And actually this is a lot easier and user, more user friendly than Google Ads which has so many options and if you've never used paid advertising uh, before then, then that can get quite complicated if, if you're not familiar with the Google AdWords layout. Right, so I'll start at the beginning and we'll run through every single box here and what we'll do for this dummy ad is we'll create an advert for Rapid Leverage Forum as if we were going to put it onto a Facebook Ads campaign. So our destination uh, at, right at the top gives us a few options to create this ad for an external URL which is essentially a website off Facebook or an internal URL for example if you had any pages uh, already set up and I've just had a dummy website here that I set up for an old client of mine but we want to target an external URL. The next box pretty obvious you type in your URL so here I'll put in rapid leverage net which is the forum um, and actually on this note uh, a very good Facebook ads expert of mine said that uh, to increase your conversions you may want to create a specific landing page to send your Facebook ad clicks to as opposed to your normal home page so in this case I would create a landing page off the um, rapid leverage sales page just for my Facebook uh, clicks so I can monitor it a bit more easier but for the sake of this example we'll just go through the most simple options Okay, so then we come to the title, and bear in mind I'm going to run through this pretty quickly, so uh, you may want to spend a bit more time and put a bit more effort into the title and the, the copy of this, because that will make a big difference to your conversions and your click-through rates. So the title for this we'll say is, um, join the rapid leverage, in fact you can see it's not enough space there, so we can just say take out the join rapid leverage forum. Um, again, you want to maybe spend a bit more time and effort on that. The body of the ad, we can say something along the lines of, and I'm just making this up off the top of my head as we go along, if you need unlimited internet marketing coaching from experts, you need to take a free trial of the rapid leverage forum today. Um, and again, you may want to spend a bit more effort and time tweaking that, but for now we'll leave it like that. And you may have noticed at the bottom of the screen here, in real time it's updating what the ad would actually look like once it's published. We want to add an image to uh, the ad, and this is actually one of the biggest advantages to Facebook ads as opposed to Google ads, because an image helps, and helps convert the ad in a far better way. And here I've just added an, an image of Aaron and I from the sales video and another tip is that an image of uh, or a screenshot from a video or of a person attracts more clicks than a logo which is why I haven't used the Rapid Leverage logo or the Rapid Leverage uh, membership card image here I've actually used an image of Aaron and I from the video which uh, according to tests by a lot of our, our expert friends in the pay-per-click business said that that attracts more clicks um, Another, another tip actually which, uh, which is coming from a Facebook expert that we know is if you can add a red border around your image then apparently that, that increases clicks as well. We haven't tested it ourselves uh, but we've heard a lot about that strategy from other people. And you may have even seen adverts with red borders around the image on your own Facebook profile. We then come down, so that's, that the, that's the ad created and this is what it would essentially look like if this was published on someone's profile. We then scroll down to the targeting section. This is one of my favorite parts of the Facebook ad campaign because it really allows you to pinpoint with a lot of precision your absolute target audience. So we'll start with location and the country. Now, by default, Facebook will target anyone and everyone because at the end of the day, they're a business and they make more money with the more people you target. 
and we'll get to that stage uh, in about the, the the cost of the clicks and the the, for, the, the, the different types of uh, payment methods and the different type of ad platform you can use in a moment but for now we just want to find our niche and narrow this down uh, as far as possible to still make it worthwhile and as we go down again on the right hand side in real time you'll see how many people uh, our ad or our demographic uh, is targeting based on how we edit this up and bear in mind this is you know this is not an exact number this is going to be only the people who share this information on their Facebook profiles so at the moment by default it's targeting basically everyone in the UK aged 18 and older and of course that's not our ideal market you know of course um, most of our audience fall within that demographic but we want to niche things down and really uh, target our audience with a bit more precision than that at the moment it's targeting 26.7 million people which is just ridiculous we don't need to target that many people and it will cost us a lot of money to do that so yes we want people in the UK um, you can add multiple countries to this to this box here here you can even break it down by city so if we say we want to target uh, new members to join from London uh, we don't want people within 80 K's of London we'll just untick that box and we go from 27 million down to 6.7 million um, which is of course just cut out uh, and about 20 21 million uh, uh, users of Facebook who are not our target audience thereby saving you money on your clicks um, and as well as uh, only targeting people who actually fall within your audience so we'll scroll down and the next box is the age demographic. We don't want anyone over 18, we want a very specific audience of between 21 and 45 who our tests have shown uh, are the most uh, active on our Facebook pages um, and our blogs. So that's quite a big age group uh, but it's still narrowed it down a little bit down to 5.2 million. The next box says it require exact age match. Now I don't tick that. What what that does is if it's unchecked, it will allow people who are 20 and 46 as well. Whereas if I uh, ticked this box, it would only add people into this um, group who are exactly 21 to 45. And you can see it's dropped down a, f a bit further. But actually, it doesn't matter if they're 20, about to turn 21, or they've just turned 46. Gender is not really relevant for our product, but this would be great if you are promoting an affiliate product like a dating website or a, a subscription for a magazine, for a fashion magazine, or uh, you're an affiliate for a fashion product or something that was related to men or related to women only, then this, this demographic uh, choice here would be very useful. But for our forum, uh, of course, it doesn't actually matter at all. We then come down to the interest section. Now here you can type in anything you want and it will pick up any keywords from the profiles of anyone within the demographic and it will pick it up from their interests, their job profiles, their job descriptions, their activities, their likes um, so you can literally pick up anything at all. So if we type in here internet marketing because it would help if our members have some sort of interest in internet marketing we click on that and it gives us a few more options and um, you can choose any other options from here but for the sake of this example we won't and you can see it's now narrowed it down and it's narrowed it right down to just under 8,000 people who live in the UK who live in London between 21 and 45 uh, years of age who have specifically said in their activities or their interests that they like internet marketing now of course we know there are more than 8,000 people within that demographic who like internet marketing but this is only showing people who have voluntarily said it on their activities uh, section of their Facebook profile so we'll, we'll stick with that as we go down but you can of course research different things that people like and add multiple interests there the next section is the connections section now if you've got a page like we've got uh, Aaron and I have got our individual pages for our blogs uh, for the rapid leverage forum we've got a separate page for that you can target your ad specifically to people who already like your page and that's great for building your brand and making it making it more visible to someone who's already familiar with your page. So, for example, there are people who have liked our Rapid Leverage Forum Facebook page but haven't joined the forum yet. If we target them specifically to show them the ad and maybe have a special offer for them, then that could increase our conversions and, again, build the loyalty with those members. Uh, but for this example, we're not going to do that because we're already quite, at quite a low number here. We scroll down further and we come to some advanced demographics which are completely optional again. 
the interested in demographic uh, separates people who are interested in interested in men and interested in women. Again, not relevant at all for our product, but if you were selling uh, some sort of dating um, uh, subscription service or an affiliate for a dating website, then this would actually be one of your most important demographics because then you can split test your ads for men and for women uh, separately. Same with the next option, the relationship option. We don't really mind if you're single or engaged or in a relationship or married or you haven't said at all. But again, if you were uh, a dating website or uh, there's a case study on Facebook about a wedding photographer who targeted women uh, who were interested in men whose relationship status was engaged because they were the absolute target audience for his wedding photography package. Uh, he, was, he, would, he wouldn't uh, have as much success targeting married people or single people because they're probably not looking for a wedding photographer anytime soon. <coughs> in our case, that's not really relevant. Languages, again, not relevant in our case, but if you are an affiliate for a uh, translation type of service, then that would also help. Uh, but again, not relevant in our case, but the option is there. The next part, education and work. You can choose to target people at university, uh, university graduates, or at secondary school. And you, you can drill down even deeper um, because you can then say what university they're at and what course they're studying as well. So if you were headhunting or you were a recruitment firm headhunting for uh, a, a, your client, you could say, I want university graduates who graduated from a certain university studying a certain topic, or even targeting uh, students at university at the moment who are studying a specific course. In our case, that's not really relevant, again, uh, but the option is there. And you can also headhunt from specific workplaces. So you can type in the company name in the box here, and that will then uh, bring up any workplaces that people have mentioned that they, that they are working at right now. So that would be great, because then you can say, I want to target people, I want to headhunt people from a certain company, and show the ad only to them. So that is pretty much how you target your demographic and, 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 and create your ad for Facebook. There's not an awful lot to it. It's very, very simple compared to Google Ads. And actually, it's actually uh, I, I, in my opinion, it's a lot more powerful because you can't target people to such precision on Google Ads uh, with data and information collected by Facebook, which is very relevant, very up-to-date as well. As you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see the the pricing and the scheduling section. Here's where you set your budgets for your adverts and that's a completely uh, up, dependent on you, whether you can have five pounds a day like this example is showing or you can have whatever budget that you want. You can create um, uh, two different types of ads or there's two different pricing options for Facebook ads where you pay for clicks uh, or per impression. Now there's pros and cons to both which we uh, will share more information about in uh, the post below in the in the posts below this video, uh, in the forum, and uh, there, like I said, there are pros and cons to having the paper click option or the paper impression option. Just a very quick uh, um, a bit of information about both. Paper click or paper clicks is exactly what it says on the tin. You only pay when somebody clicks on the ad, and Facebook suggests a bid here for this demographic of eighty four pence. Uh, and that's based on, 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 on some calculations on the competition level to this demographic. Paper impression is a different way of paying for your ads where you pay uh, a certain amount for every thousand impressions of your ad, which basically means for every thousand people who see your ad, regardless of whether they click or not. Now, there are, like I said, there are pros and cons to both depending on your budgets and your click-through rates. Uh, and once you know a bit more information about uh, what kind of click-through rates you're getting, you can then decide whether whether it's better for you or more cost-effective for you to use pay-per-click pay or pay-per-impression. Once you've decided that, you click on place order or review advert, you put in your credit card details or your PayPal um, uh, uh, button, or your PayPal uh, link rather, and um, Facebook will automatically start charging you or your credit card once your ad is approved. Now this was a very quick run through of Facebook ads and how to create a new ad and um, set it up on Facebook for your business. The alternative to doing this was to set it up to an internal page which would essentially be the same thing um, and it would add a bit of social proof like it has done here because it can see we've got a rapid leverage page as well to say your friends like this and that adds a lot of social proof for your ads as well.
we can see we're going to be targeting 7,880 people. Um, and if you assume a 10% click-through rate on that of 780 people, and then a further 10% conversion rate on your sales page, and those just 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 random numbers, you can get 78 new clients based on this advert. Um, and depending on your price point, then you, you can do the maths and, and see how much money you can make from this yourself um, and for a relatively low cost. So that anyone's got any questions, please put a comment in the threads below and Aaron and I uh, will answer them as far as we can. Thank you.